Star Wars speeder bikes come a step closer to reality, personal Skitrike takes to the skies in first ever man test flight. Star Wars fans have managed to create a personal Skitrike that looks uncannily like the Imperial speeder bike in the films. Dubbed Flyke, the Tricopter prototype recently took to the air for the first time in a series of man test flights. In the first test, Flyke had a takeoff weight of 210 kg, 463 pounds, and only made it off the ground for a few seconds. A second test flight saw the vehicle fly meters off the ground for 30 seconds, while also hovering and compensating for wind, according to a report in Gizmag. The prototype was created in a year by Basel Tan Nonprofit, a state owned applied research institute in Hungary. Flyke is a revolutionary, all electric personal flight device under development in Hungary, its creators explain. For the techies, it is a coaxial, Y6 layout tricopter, which means that the lift is generated by six rotors, grouped in counter rotating pairs of three axes, equally located around a circle. The flight has a coaxial, Y6 layout tricopter, which means that the lift is generated by six rotors, grouped in counter rotating pairs of three axes, equally located around a circle. Due to its layout, Flyke is can be flown by adjusting the rotation speed of individual rotors. An onboard computer automatically manages the craft's stability, position, and altitude. The electric motors are powered by lithium polymer batteries, which allows for around 15 to 20 minutes of hover flight or 30 to 40 minutes of cruise flight. Due to its layout, Flyke is can be flown by adjusting the rotation speed of individual rotors. The firm says its airborne behavior is similar to a helicopter. For instance, it can hover, roll, bank, drift, spin, yaw, climb, turn and dive. An onboard computer automatically manages the craft's stability, position, and altitude. The team also says that it has other flight capabilities that are yet to be named. The electric motors are powered by lithium polymer batteries, which allows for around 15 to 20 minutes of hover flight or 30 to 40 minutes of cruise flight. Now that the first flight has been successfully complete, Bay Zoltan wants to build a second prototype that will eventually lead to a commercial product.